five more minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Down, jeez. Why didn't you wake me up? Now we're gonna be late. It's not my fault you didn't reset the alarm. We're gonna be late. No. Well, that's what happens when you don't get up on time. I know. If you can't start getting up on time, then I'm gonna have to stop letting you have sleepovers, go out on the weekend. Dad, it's not that. Well, what is it? It's, it's like you've been so distracted lately. I mean, is there a reason? No. I don't know. Is it who you're hanging out with? No, it's not. Can we just go? We're going to be late. Fine. Are you serious? Devin? I don't know what else to do. Just think about it. Take a seat, get caught up. Rough morning. Mm, rough life. Wanna talk about it? class next period. I'll write you a note. So, how are you feeling? Fine. Is there anything you'd like to talk to me about? Not really. Is there anything going on at home? You know, you're, you're kind of bad at this. I know. I'm not a certified guidance counselor yet. Yet? Devin, you know why you're here. You're talking to me like I'm in trouble or something. You're not, yet. Look, I don't want to give you the same talk over and over again, but... Devin, your grades are slipping. You're not as personal as you used to be. You're dropping out of the extracurriculars We wouldn't need. have to give you the same talk over and over again if you listened the first few times. It's just hard for everyone around you to watch you waste all this potential. Devin. You're incredibly bright. Up until last semester, you were at the top of your class. I know you haven't fallen into the wrong crowd. I know Travis is a good kid. So, what's distracting you? I don't know. Well, I can't keep you here the entire class period. But everyone around you wants to see you succeed, Devin. Thank you. Hey, what do you think they're talking about? I love living life as if it's an episode of Gossip Girl instead of an existing reality as it really is. 
Yeah, that's probably exactly what they're saying. Ugh, this stuff is so greasy. I'm gonna throw it out. I suggest you do the same. So, since Kara's not gonna be in photography class today, I figured maybe we could... Uh, I actually, I... I dropped photography. <laughs> you're, you're kidding, yeah. Fine. No, no, I'm not. I just, I don't really have time for it anymore. Devin, what are you talking about? Photography and modeling, they're your passion. What other place in the world could you do both? Look, we had a perfect thing going. You modeled for my pictures, I modeled for yours. I know, I know. I, I just lost interest, I guess. I, I'm really busy. When did you drop it? Last week, Thursday. And when were you planning on telling me? I, I don't know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We have other classes together. Devin, I'm really surprised you would give up something you care about so much. I'm just really busy. Um, I gotta go, but I'll catch you later, okay? Devin. Yeah? Nothing, never mind. I'm sorry, but who carries around a camera like that? He looks ridiculous with that thing always hanging around his neck. It's his passion. More like an obsession. Aren't you glad I got you to drop that class? Photography is such a waste of time. So is modeling. You are so lucky that you have me to guide you in the right direction. If it weren't for me, you'd be just like Traz. You should thank me. Hey, Hamilton, put the pen down. You're gonna lose feeling in your fingers. You are. Do you think the girls were talking about you today? The girls? You mean Amethyst and her friends? Why would they be talking about me? Heard them laughing a lot. I thought I saw them look over a couple times. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Can you know how to find the area of a slope through two points? I don't know. Weren't you paying attention? No, I wasn't. Because someone wouldn't stop humming. Did you just subtweet me in real life? <sighs> Whatever. I need to take a shower. No, I was going to watch a movie tonight. Watch it with me. I should shower. Says who? You should just go to bed. Didn't you just say you wanted to watch a movie? Does it matter? You seem really tired. You should just go to sleep. Okay, you're right. It's getting late. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Thank you.
Devin. Yeah. Can I show you something? Yeah. Come on. Traz, these, these are amazing. I really didn't try to pull a stalker move, but I really didn't have a choice because I wanted to prove to you how incredible you are at modeling. I wasn't gonna show this to you just yet, but you know, when you told me you were quitting photography, I- You wanted to change my mind. Yes. Well, Devin, you are showing all of the signs of depression. Loss of memory, lack of motivation for the simplest tasks, getting out of bed in the morning, brushing your teeth, losing interest in the things you used to love. Wait, depression? Yes. Well, doesn't everyone feel depressed at some point in their life? Devin, depression isn't simply an emotion. It's a mental disorder. I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. And you're not lazy or broken either. You have a chemical imbalance in your brain. I don't know what that means. Well, think of it like this. If you had a stomach ulcer or kidney stones, you'd go to the doctor and have it treated, right? Of course. Well, your brain is an organ just like your stomach or your heart. And it deserves the same care that you give the rest of your body. So, so what do I do now? I mean, I can't exactly put a bandit on my brain. Well, no. But I'm prescribing you an antidepressant to help rebalance the chemicals and fix the neurotransmitters in your brain. Devin, I know how hard it can be to hear something like this, but now you can understand why you have been feeling the way that you do. Depression's not simply a constant state of sadness or laziness or something you just get over. It can be incredibly difficult to live with. Now, I understand that sometimes it can feel like the only thing that's constant in your life. It feels comforting, quiet. You're stronger than you realize, Devin. You don't have to give in to her. What? I said you don't have to give in to it. You're not defined by your disorder. So, how was your trip to the shrink? I bet she told you you were crazy. Prescribed a couple pills? Leave me alone. What's the attitude for? I didn't even do anything to you. Yeah, you did. You've made my life torture. Oh, come on, that's a bit dramatic. Why are you always here, huh? Always holding me hostage in my bed? Pulling me away from the most important people in my life? Because I know what's best for you. You don't know anything. You're not even real. Of course I'm real. I'm a chemical imbalance, remember? That's it. What do you think you're doing? Finding the one thing that will get rid of you. Don't you dare. Don't. pill bottle to get rid of me. I'm not going anywhere. What is it going to take to finally get rid of you? You don't want to get rid of me. 
You need me. You want me here. No. No, I don't. Nobody knows how badly you need me like I do. I don't want you here. Not anymore. Not ever. What do you mean? You don't define me. I'm more than my disorder. Cheerful. Uh, more like finding a balance. <laughs> cool. Hey, where are you going? To rejoin the photography club. <laughs> be me if I'm swallowed alive will I be free when I have no more time cause it's not even dawn and I can't face the morning now my voices are gone and I heard no Waiting for me, but I don't remember your face. My little dove sings from a cage. Can she fly? So One in five children ages 13 to 18 have or will have a serious mental illness. And the average delay between symptoms and treatment is eight to 10 years. Even with severe depression, 80% of youth are left with little or no treatment. If you or anyone you know is struggling with mental illness like Devin, we urge you to please reach out and get help. 
For more information, you can always call the National Alliance for Mental Illness or visit thepaintedbrain.org.